Hello, I'm Robert and welcome to my channel where I discuss everything automated algorithmic trading or simply algo trading. Today we're going to talk about a trading process I have been testing for the last four months with very exceptional results. We are using the Matic USDT pair for this process and the algorithm we are using is the Potato Harvester. It is part of the Jackrabbit TV series. This particular process has been quite profitable over the last four months. Now before we get into the details, it's important for me to say that past performance isn't going to be equal to future performance. It may do better or worse in the future, I don't know. But the past performance has been really spectacular. We are looking at a close-up of it, and this particular close-up shows three different colored positional arrows. As we can see them right here. Now as we look at the chart, the reason these three arrows are different are because they are actually three different position sizes. What I have chosen to do with this particular strategy is I am actually using multiple position sizes to buy and sell appropriate to what I'm doing. So as we look at these particular arrows, the way it works is the first range is ten dollars the second range is twenty dollars the third range is thirty dollars and the fourth range is forty dollars now this applies for both buying and selling and right now we are looking at selling positions but the buying are just as much the same whereas we look here we will see the range at the bottom that indicate that particular process. So let's zoom out and see if we can find a buying range. Now the potato harvester is a very unique process and it allows for a capturing some very unique volatile positions. Okay, here we go. We see three different positions for purchases. So again, we see the relationship for the $10 range, the $20 range, the $30 range, and the $40 range. Now what happens is this tries to capture volatility in a unique way. The risks for this are quite extensive compared to other techniques because of the different position sizes. And it does have a very particular budget requirement that can be difficult to associate with at first. Now I am using Oliver Twist with this particular strategy. So even though I have the sell signals on this chart, I am not using them. But rather I am using a take profit of 1% for each position type at the position size that I have accumulated. So it allows for me to make some very interesting trades. So now that we've seen the chart and we've seen how well the potato harvester works, we see here that it's a very aggressive strategy. So you do need to be aware of that when you're trading. It will have a budget consumption rate equal to this aggression. But if you can handle the aggression and the budget consumption, you will be rewarded. 
very generously. This is since I started this experiment and this is the equity curve. Now we can clearly see the small bullish markets as they've occurred where trades just sold off exceptionally well. That isn't always the case as most of the time the markets just run somewhat sideways and subsequently don't really gain a lot of profit at a dramatic level. But it's enough to be a very generous point of view. It's enough to clearly show the process is really spectacular. So now let's look at the actual dirty side of this. The equity looks nice, but it doesn't tell you how much you're holding. It doesn't tell you what happens if you walk away from the table. For that, we need to look at the exposure. And that is shown here. The blue line is what happens if we walk away from the table. And right now, if we walk away from the table, we lose about $1,000. So our 600 gain turns into a $400 net loss. But we also know that right now we are holding about 3,500 Matic. So that's quite a bit for this market. And, and as we can see, the market has indeed gone in a bearish state over the long term. So you do need to keep in mind your risks. This kind of a system can be quite difficult to deal with if you aren't aware of those risks. But if you plan out your trades and you have the right budget, the profitability is spectacular, particularly when you do get an insane bearish run, excuse me, bullish run. When you get a bullish run at this context, this is wonderful. Let's zoom into this and actually see this particular market. And we can see that even though it shows up in a tight range on the big picture, really we are looking at a couple of days of trading that makes this possible. So you're looking at roughly June 4th to June July 4th to July 5th, Matic took off in a small bullish run, and it did exceptionally well. This is definitely something to always pay attention to when you're using these kind of high-risk trades. And this is high-risk because the amount of accumulation you are going to take, because the amount of positions you are going to hold. But if you can manage this kind of risk, it will absolutely be a rock star. And that really is the whole point. You can really do exceptionally well. And this is a spot market only, so I don't have to worry about liquidations, which makes the profitability all that more impressive, to be honest. Spot markets usually aren't known for such excessive profitability, but this has been phenomenal. Now let's look at some of the numbers. I've taken and recorded some of the numbers for my trading. Here are the numbers directly actual trades that I've done in the last four months along with the individual profits per month. 
So as we look at this, and we can see that for the month of June, I made $63. July is $337. August is $156. And so far for September is $48. These are the latest numbers that I've just pulled up from the diagnostics and the logs. Altogether, this has made $606 in 1,103 completed trades. It is averaging about $151 a month. This is spectacular. I encourage you to try this kind of a test for your own and see just what you get. You may be impressed by a simple strategy that can really just knock it out of the park. And having 1,103 trades is a clear representation that this strategy is long-term stable. You do have to be aware of your risks. You do have to watch your budget. But in a spot market, you are much safer than a futures or another kind of a liquidation market. Always test using Mimic first. That way you can make sure you've honed in your strategy and your time frames to get the best results for what you're looking for. If you like this kind of content, please hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. What do you think of this particular trading approach? Is this something that you find fascinating? Share your thoughts. Tell me about your trading. I'm always interested in seeing how different people take the strategies or their ideas and apply them to the market. There is no one way to be profitable. So let's see just what we can learn together. Until next time, and thank you for watching.